Here we go. It's uh, we're off to the capital, and it's Roma versus Inter, and Roma at plus three hundred, Inter minus one one five. There, these are like chalk and cheese. These two sides, the draw is at plus two seventy five. You always have to be uh, worried about Roma hosting one of the big guns. Inter minus one twenty two to score twice. I think yes, they will score twice. I think that's just another way of uh, having a little look at this. Tan. Inter, for me, are far better than Roma. Roma disjointed. I'm not sure they create enough. And Inter, for me, are just the best side. And it's going to take an almighty effort from either a Roma, Atalanta, Juve, Milan or Napoli to take the crown off of Inter. Uh, let me answer to Slytherin Crest. Yes, Slytherin, I just jumped off the cliff from outside an airplane and landed here just to comment this Serie A. Uh, this Serie A round, you are not <laughs> understanding, but Slytherin is understanding what I'm saying. By the way, I tried to find some, to make some sense out of this uh, game and it is very difficult it is not at all uh, uh, clear oh inter has much better side than roma yeah. so inter will win yeah. or uh, oh for sure they will score more no it's not clear enough first of all inter away are not reliable yet second mm. roma are desperate for points at home uh, they are not playing good but they are desperate for points at home and that is very hard to handle there is a very important team news though because uh, uh, apparently Dovbik might miss the game against Inter for an injury picked up uh, during international break and that obviously would be massive for Roma that are already missing El Sharavi is not starting but anyway is not clear about Dovbik uh, yet but the thing is that Inter as I said are not that reliable in that way although they, they are two points short on Napoli. They have Inter Juventus next week. They are super focused on that. All in all, Inter are the team that is conceding most players to the international break, uh, leaving 17, 16 players. So basically, they are getting into this game having only uh, two full training altogether. Um, I try to make some sense of this. The only thing I could find is that I think they will both score. But um, the odds from my side on both teams to score are very low. It's European odds, it's 1.57. So okay. it's a safe odd if you are looking for some. A safe odd, both teams to score. I can't find uh, uh, anything else. I thought there was a massive gap here, Mina, between the athleticism and the pace of Inter over Roma. Uh, and then you take the potential of Dovbik being out as well. I just I just don't see where the creativity comes from. I don't see where Inter give up the ground for Roma to actually cause Inter problems one, but then try and keep them quiet at the other end. The thing is, is that there's a possibility of rotation because obviously we've got the Champions League coming up and it's, it's like Tank said, right? There's a lot of players who are out for the international breaks and they've got players who are traveling across the world. They're exhausted. Um, I know that people don't like to hear about that, no, but it's the truth. Um, and um, so this is this is the, the one thing that could worry you about Inter. You see, I've talked myself into so many different things when it's come to this match, you know. There's another part of me where Simone Izaghi has been talked about so much when it comes to his defence. Why are you conceding so much? It's endlessly conceding goals. Defensively, there's no balance. What's going on at the back? This is terrible, blah, 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 blah. So much criticism aimed at the fact that they are conceding lots, which makes me think that he's going to... he's going to work on this and make sure he keeps a clean sheet in this particular match because it's it's just annoying to continue hearing and making keeping a clean sheet against against Roma will just end a lot of this endless chat about it so it's about getting the mentality there where they're concentrating long enough to make sure that they're there because we know that Inter if they want to can produce a top game a 3-0 win and end it there but it's about whether or not they've got the 90 minutes to focus on doing that against a team like Juric's Roma which is all about pressing and harrying and annoying and, and, and quite really annoying to play against, um, which is not ideal for when you have the Champions League to, to coming up as well. So, and the other hand is, you know, maybe the pressing and all of this and Dybala's back will create something, you know, but there's no Dovbik potentially. So then I'm thinking, can Roma create enough or are they just going to be really annoying to play against? But they are at home and there's also criticism for the way that they're playing and they've had to some time off. So have they been working on that? 
So either way, I've argued with myself so much in this that I decided not to take a pick. But yes, I See, mean, it should be an Inter money line. That should be it. That's probably the easiest one to go. Most unbelievable. At minus 115. Against a side that I cannot mm -hmm. rely on actually going it's and creating. It's not that easy, though. <laughs> no, but I'm exactly. The, the okay. odds... Yeah. The, the odds are too easy for what can happen. I'm not going to say that, uh, yeah. oh, it's not going to happen, but it's not easy as the minus 115 thing, not at all. It's, it's a really unpredictable, like, it's a really unpredictable league, you know? I'm hearing it. In my opinion, it's above team to score. Could be a one all. in my opinion, it's above team to score. Because yeah, Inter just I can't shut. I don't mind to score as long as it's like Roma 1, Inter 3. But I tell you, if, okay, so if you think that it's a bit too trappy for Inter at minus 115, then uh, what I've done is I've gone with Inter to win and I've gone with Milan to win. You put on a little bit less, but you get plus 160 and then you're properly uh, rewarded. Although I know there will be people that just look at Inter and go minus 115. Let's have a little look at the official picks, please. I think Milan could lose. <laughs> Why, 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 what's the right negativity? Okay. See, I see mean, I don't want them to, to but score. I'm saying there's a course possibility. Don't. No, of course you don't. No, well, then both teams are scoring over nil-nils. Uh, enter, uh, sorry, Inter. Inter Milan is the second leg of my parlay, and it comes out at plus 160. Let's go.